Dear students, do you recollect C1 to C9 factors? These are the complement cascade factors and the complement proteins from C1 to C4 are referred to as early acting complement factors and C5 to C9 are referred to as late acting complement factors. Why? Because there may be multiple pathways through which the cascade will begin but all of them will have a common pathway between C5 to C9 where they form a membrane attack complex. It means a membrane attack complex is formed between C5, C6, C7, C8 and C9 and they they will attach to the surface of the microbe and they'll drill a hole on the surface of the microbe and through the drill the hole the organism will start leaking water and electrolytes and will die. Now Nigeria are a special group of organisms who have developed resistance against the immune system in multiple levels but once part of the immune system that the Nigeria are still susceptible to in human body is the complement cascade. So if a patient is deficient in any of the factors between C5 to C9 that is when there is a deficiency in the late acting complement components the Nigerial clear from your body is very weak. So the organisms are very tough in patients who have late complement complex deficiency because of poor clearance, because of poor formation of the membrane attack complex and because of poor opsonization. And Nigeria meningococcus is a capsulated bacteria. To drill a hole onto the capsule, you will require the MAC. So those organisms can become deadly even though other organisms also can become dangerous when there is a late complement complex deficiency.